Hi, I'm Gareth Ogden from Corsair Memory, and I'm going to show you how to upgrade a laptop to memory. Very simple upgrade. The laptop we're going to upgrade is a Dell 1520. It's a Core 2 Duo laptop, fairly standard laptop. Uh, it has two memory modules or memory slots underneath the keyboard. Look there, it's on the reverse side, underneath this flap here, and a handily labelled with an M. To upgrade this laptop, you need two screwdrivers, small Phillips head screwdriver and a small flat head screwdriver, the use of which will become clear. And obviously your uh, new laptop SOD memory modules, I'm using two one gig modules. Okay, before you upgrade the laptop, make sure obviously the power is unplugged and remove the battery as well. Remove the possibility of any current battery, damaging your laptop, just set that aside. Okay, first of all, we're going to upgrade the module beneath the keyboard. So, lift up the lid, pull it back. If you look on the front of the laptop here, there's a slight notch. Just slide your flathead screwdriver underneath there and just gently tweaking away and it'll pop. And all you do is lift off this panel, just set that aside for a moment. The keyboard is held in place by two little screws here, so going back to your Phillips head screwdriver, just uh, unscrew them, set them aside. The keyboard will remove towards the laptop screen, it can be a bit fiddly sometimes, just be uh, persistent, slide it forward. It's attached by a ribbon cable, so you, you won't be able to remove it properly. I wouldn't advise doing that anyway. Just fold it back over the touchpad, and it's a plastic cover with DIN A label. This is your first memory slot. Simple clip, pull the clip plast back, pull it out a little bit and fold the whole thing back. And that reveals your first SO DIN. And to remove this, it's really simple. It's two metal clasps at the side. Just pull these apart together, the module will ping up at a 30 degree angle, just pull it again towards the screen and that's it, that's how it's going. Take your first memory module, again remembering to hold it by the edges, uh, you know, so you don't get, you remove the chance of static electricity damaging the module. It's a very good idea actually to ground yourself before you even handle these and you can do that simply by touching the bare metal pipe of the radiator. If you look at the module, it has a little key, a little notch in the in the pins at the bottom. This is to make sure that you basically can't install this module the wrong way around. If you look actually in the socket, the laptop around, you see there's a little bump in the socket that corresponds to the notch. So in this case we have to just flip it over. You just place it in the same angle as the uh, original module came out. It'll just sit there about 30 degrees and just Press it down, the two metal clips will lock in, that's your module installed. But now, now all you need to do is replace the keyboard, and that's just a case of reversing the process that you went through to remove it in the first place. So, first up is your plastic bracket, it clips in like that. Take your keyboard, slide it towards the touchpad, and just press it down. Take the two screws, this can be slightly fiddly, and with your Phillips head screwdriver, just tighten them back in. No need to over tighten them. Second screw, get it in. Keyboard in place, and take the the face plate, two notches on the uh, left hand side of this particular model, slot them in to the left side first, and just press it down from the left side to the right side, and just clips into place. That's it, that's your first module upgraded. Go for your second module, again you need your Phillips head screwdriver, this one's really simple, it's a single screw, just undo the screw, this whole compartment will just lift out. Set that aside. There's your second SO DIM slot. 
nothing in this one. Exactly the same process. Hold your SOD module by the edges. Look for the key. Flip this around. And look for the little bump in the slot. So in this case, we're going in this way. Slot it in about, in about 30 degree angle. Press it in a little bit. And it'll just sit there. And press it down. Two clips. Latch it at the side. And that is literally your module installed. Take your uh, compartment again, place that in, two notches at the top, slot in, press it down, tighten the screw. And that is literally your laptop upgraded. Slot the battery back on. There you have it, a Dell 1520 upgraded with two gigs of RAM.